Jillian Grace. And I'm Pilar Lastra. We're here promoting the Playmate Hour on Sirius Radio. Channel 198. Joined up with Howard, so I'm going to tell him all about the show. I'm excited. <laughs> I'm a little nervous, actually. Why are you so nervous? <laughs> I don't know. I'm using my first time with Howard, so. <laughs> and this is Satellite, so. Yeah, I'm, I'm more no, nervous No this rules. Time. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Jillian Grace and Pilar Lostra. Jillian is the girl we actually got into Playboy, and Pilar is someone I don't even know. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, somebody looks good today. Oh, damn. Hey, Jillian. Hey, Pilar. Am I saying it wrong? I'm, I'm being... Hold on. Let's put the headphones on. We'll talk. Hello, Pilar. Jillian, you look more beautiful than the first time I met you when you first came to me and said, Howard, get me into Playboy. <laughs> Not too many girls could wear a complete cut-off belly shirt and look that good in the belly. Well, am I right you. or am I wrong? Honestly. You're right. Yes. I, just, I just want to tell you that. I read something about Pilar in the notes, and she started immediately. I read that she's a germaphobe, yeah. so I just handed her headphones, and she just whispered, are these clean? <laughs> no. Oh, my God. You no. never you'll, know. You'll probably die from them, honestly. <laughs> be, I, might, I might catch some, like, rare, like, ear bug disease or something. That I'm very afraid. Dangerous. If you're I'm, lucky. I'm afraid of germs, you know, and probably high pitch Eric's more than those at least four times. So you're probably, there's probably crud crawling into you right now. Yeah, our headphones are yeah, serious. Yeah, no, you can't do this, because I, I might really take I was, I was fine. eating them last week. I fucked them. God! <laughs> so, girls, let me get this straight. Jillian, when I met you, where, where, where did you grow up? Missouri. Missouri. Met you, you're a quiet girl. You come into my studio. You're just out of high school, and your mom wants to get you into Playboy, and we get you in. It's a miracle. Now you're hosting a radio show? That's right. Every time I've been with you, you barely talk. Well, I can't get in a word with you. No, <laughs> no really. I mean, Hi. what are you guys talking about on the Playboy channel? Let me let me uh, Everything. understand. Everything sex. And Jillian talks about her sex? I Jillian. talk about it more so than Pilar. Oh, my God. Jillian <laughs> You're talking me. about your sex life? Yeah, I don't mind talking about that. You look so beautiful. You're not still giving yourself to Paulie Shore. That's no, over with. That's you, over. Do you sp <laughs> still speak to him on the phone? We'll text every now and then, but really? that's about it. Really? You've gone totally Hollywood. Artie said it was going to happen. Oh, my God. <laughs> Artie knew. Every, didn't you, Artie? Everything I said verbatim happened. I am the least fit Hollywood. Bullshit. Where are you living? Where are you living now? In the bunny house. Class from the mansion. Oh, yeah, you're not Hollywood. Who is the guy... Who who is the guy that you started dating after Paulie Shore? He's another actor, right? Yeah, that's old too. That's old that's too. Over? <laughs> I'm done you with can't Hollywood guys. <laughs> another jerk off. Paulie Shore was the first guy who after you in Hollywood, right? <laughs> I guess you could say that, yeah. Yeah, you gave it to him. Mm -hmm. I can't even believe it because really, if anyone should have gotten you, it was me. You don't get <laughs> it. You owed me. You owed me some. Paulie likes me. Yeah. <laughs> you don't get it. You know, it's great. Really, Howard is so much more hotter than Polly. What were you thinking? That's right. <laughs> he Thank had a girlfriend you. at the time. I always still have a girlfriend. Does. He always so. has a girlfriend. <laughs> you still offer. You still make an offer. You say, Howard, if you need it, it's here for you, and all right? You ask, should I do Polly Sure. <laughs> right. I've never really heard you talk that much. I'm shocked you're now in the same profession as me. That's a one of the things I don't like about Sirius, the receptionist, in your everyone's in my business. <laughs> it used to be special to have a radio yeah. show. You used to have to, uh, you know, but you're not a big talker, but yet you're tackling this new thing, right? Yeah, I, I think I'm doing pretty well. I think she does pretty well, too. Well, we interview playmates, and so I can relate to them, and I know a lot of the girls that we do interview, so. And what do you, and, and, and the guy that you were with after Paulie Shore, who was <laughs> that guy again? What is the actor's name? Um, he was on 7th Heaven. And what is his name? <laughs> That's Dave what we Gallagher. Need to know. I know. Dave Gallagher. And it seems like you're upset about him now. I'm not upset in the least bit. I broke up with him. It's over. Why did you so. break up with him? Because he he was just way too into himself. He didn't have time for me and what do you I mean? need more attention. What do you mean? <laughs> he, he was he wasn't uh, seeing you as much. He was kind of being aloof. Yeah, he's he was he just turned 21 and he was really getting into the Hollywood scene and he wanted other women, it sounds like. He was partying a lot. So. He wanted to go out or something. I think uh, he hung out with his friends too much. I see. And you wanted a relationship. Right. So he banged you for how many days? <laughs> we were together for about um, eight months or so. Yeah. Did he start asking you for three ways, maybe introduce me to some no, of the other playmates? No, 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 no. <laughs> Nothing like that. I don't think he's like that, so mm. not too kinky. What, is he queer? Huh? <laughs> I question that every now and then. And what about you now? You're li you say you're living in the bunny house, mm -hmm. and you're seeing a lot and learning a lot. You're growing up fast, aren't you? I guess so. It's yeah. been a year, up. so. I understood there was, uh, someone told me when I was uh, reading about you that now when you live in the bunny house, the bunnies are starting to revolt. 
they want to have guests past 9 o'clock at night. <laughs> We're not allowed to have guests at all. You're not allowed to have guests at all? No. Really? You can't even Very have pizza strict. delivered. Yeah, the pizza delivery guy has to go to security. That's first. bullshit. So when you're dating a guy, you can only have sex with him at his house. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well, is there a life. curfew? You have to be in before a certain time? Or? We don't, but the girlfriends do. So in other words, Hef has all the girls living the life of an 85-year-old man. Yeah, what's <laughs> going on? Now, do the girlfriends live in the bunny house, too? No, they live in the mansion. We're across the street from it. I see. Are you allowed to have your ecstasy dealer over? <laughs> <laughs> Sounds to me like, you know what? You almost look a little more confident. You're becoming a Hollywood girl, in a sense. Uh, I oh, see. She's not that sweet, Our innocent little girl. She, she seems a little more confident. Maybe I've seen the world a little bit. She's Maybe. becoming an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Girl. I'm an yeah. asshole. Now, do you hear from your boyfriend who you left back in Missouri? He's probably dead. No, right? but it, when I go back to Missouri, if there's a party. You will go back to Missouri if there's a party? No, I'll go back there, and if there is a party and he's there, we're cordial. So. I'll right. go back there to torture him. Does it <laughs> no. ever occur to you that you should have stuck with him through Never. this whole thing? Never. No. So you're saying it hasn't happened yet. Okay. <laughs> Want to know how Paulie's cock tastes? Oh, oh, oh. oh for God's sakes. <laughs> so this radio show we're doing. Wait yeah. a second. Somebody <laughs> told me really now. Excited about so it. someone, to, Gary, told me that he was talking to you, and he found out that in Hollywood now, in addition to being a playmate, in addition to having this radio show, that you have to supplement your income by working in a shaving store. Oh, <laughs> what's that? A shaving and store. And what is a shaving no, store? No, no, no. Okay, I work um, at this place called the Shave in Beverly Hills. It's like a men's club. You come in, they give you a shot of whiskey, oh. and you can have straight razor shave, the hot towels, and everything. And I had went in there to get a present for someone, right? And nice. they asked me if I wanted a job, and I, I had free time, so I figured, why not? So you took the job because you're only 20 years old, and you can't go do a lot of the work that the 21-year-old playmates do, right? Is that correct? If there's a, an event sponsored by an alcohol, I'm right. not allowed to you're work. You're not on, allowed to so. work, so you're missing out on a lot of income uh, potential, right? Because you can't go to do these right. things. Right. Yeah. It's not like Mattel is sponsoring any play. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And what's happening uh, sexually for you? Did you? I mean, Paulie introduced you to a lot of sex, and so did this other guy. Are you seeing things now at the uh, Playboy Mansion that you didn't think you'd see before? Are you starting to be invited into Hef's bedroom? Are you starting to see what's no, going no, no, on? No, 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 no. I am done with the Hollywood scene. I'm actually dating someone who is not into that area. Alan all, Iverson. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what does no. a regular guy in Hollywood mean? Only independent? films? No, he's a cop. A cop. You're dating cop. a cop. Uh-huh. Oh, interesting. <laughs> you he's can hear about that on the radio show. We talk mm. about that all the time. Yeah, we what talk do you about talk about? Do you, do, do, now, yeah, now Ronnie about. says the show sometimes turns him on. Do you talk about that? You do how you take it, how you do it? I mean, here you're, very, no. you're like a lady. I mean, what's what the deal? What you do with the cop later on yeah. today? <laughs> yeah, what's going on? Uh, people will e email questions in, and we'll answer all the questions that they email. Right. Yeah. Any comments or anything like that, we'll give advice. Yeah, you give advice. Is that When does it get sexy, though? Do you guys talk? Pilar, do you talk well, about your sex life at all? No. I mean, if there's a question about something, you know, we'll talk about it. But, I mean, we definitely don't go into detail. So what, is, what do you have on tap for today, let's say? What would the show be like the today? Show. Are you planning anything? Well, it would depend which playmate we have on the radio that day. So I, and a lot of it is about them. We'll talk about, you know, what they have up and coming, their life and their experience as a, as a playmate. Yeah. Oh, oh, so it's, it's always got a playmate involved. Yeah, okay. yeah. definitely. Sounds right, so. unbelievably do you boring. Two, yeah. Do you two, <laughs> no way. Do you two ever make out with each other? No. <laughs> Would you ever consider doing that? No. no. Come on. <laughs> Pilar, what's your story now? I mean, are you dating anyone famous? I mean, all the playmates. <laughs> Are, are you, you a playmate? Were you a playmate? Was good. Yes, we were okay. both playmates. That was okay. August of 04. Okay. Nice. I know, I know. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Artie's beaten off to you before. <laughs> now, Great. Now, you're on the show Deal or No Deal. You're a suitcase girl? Yes. Boy, I got to tell you, the girls on that show, you included, are absolutely smoking hot. Oh, well, thank you. Is that a good job? I mean, does that actually pay? How much pay? does that pay? I mean, it pays pretty well. Beats working <laughs> at the shave. <laughs> well, you know what? Beats working at the shave is right. Uh, Howie Mandel says that the, uh, I, I said, they changed all the girls up and got some really good looking girls recently because they no. yes they're not the same girls from the beginning of the show well the very first you're right the very no. first we did the first five episodes and then um, some of the girls were traded out right they weren't hot and then, and well <laughs> it's not that they weren't I mean yeah okay maybe they just weren't hot enough but that's a that's a big deal job isn't it I mean the fact that you're on yeah. TV
yeah. TV on a, on a network. Well, and, and it's it's got huge ratings. I mean, we've got like 15.4 million mm. viewers. Right. It's got huge tits. <laughs> <laughs> no. You know what? And even like the majority of the girls on there, they're very natural. Like, Hi, Pilar. <laughs> <laughs> and What's your the story? Do you date you famous saying, guys? Do you date on, famous no, no, no. guys? <laughs> <laughs> Do you, honey? Come on, let me hold know. On, hold on. You were saying my name wrong. You were saying it just like Howie Mandel used to say it. Oh, wow, wow, wow. What's <laughs> the difference? What Pilar. Is Pilar. Pilar? No, you guys go Pilar. 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 It's Pilar. There you oh, go. Pilar. It's that Hi, easy. Pilar. <laughs> like Pilartes? Pilates. <laughs> the famous philosopher. Oh, or the oh, exercise. Oh. Pilates. Yeah. Oh. I'll tell you what, when you're doing me, I'll pronounce it right. Until then you're Pilar. So so Pilar, what's your deal, honey? I mean, are you uh, wild sexually? I mean, <laughs> I mean the two of you We have a, a great time on the uh on You dating anyone? What's your story? You got a boyfriend? Um I, I'm actually recently single. Oh you are? Uh, yeah. you dumped some guy or he dumped your ass? No. <laughs> a boyfriend who was famous? Did, was it someone well-known in Hollywood? I think I'm going to go like Marlon Brando on this one and just keep it quiet. Oh, so what? you were dating someone well-known? Oh, so I, I didn't say that. What, the, what oh. shit WB show was your boyfriend? <laughs> <laughs> when did you start banging Pauly Shore? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> so she, she, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't date anybody that has dated another playmate. That's for sure. You're actually pretty hard to get. You have a 90-day rule, unlike our... Uh, yeah, I do. Uh, unlike Jillian, who what went to... Uh, how long did it take uh, Pauly to get you? in bed, Jillian? <laughs> what was 90 it like? seconds. She has a 90 seconds. You have a 90 run. second rule. That's right. As long as it took him to say we so. Uh. <laughs> well, you were a Pauly Shore fan, weren't you? I thought he was very funny. Yeah. And in person, he's still very funny. Right, he's a great right. guy. And uh, it didn't take him long to seduce you. I mean, it was exciting for you. You'd come from Missouri. <laughs> Hey, you were you were pretty quick on the uh, button with him, right? I, I don't think we need to talk about that. We should talk about right. how, <laughs> how long Pilar makes guys wait. Wait a minute. There's what? no way I would stick you, around that long. Why are you trying to dilute your situation with my situation <laughs> here? Pilar has a 90-day rule. You won't I have do. sex with a guy for 90 days upon meeting him. Because Is that right? Yeah, I do. You want to get to know him a little bit. Well, yeah. And I mean, I also think like when you first start dating somebody... They've kind of got loose ends somewhere else, and I don't want, like, the psycho ex-girlfriend calling me, you know, or making my life miserable. Uh -huh. Good point, and Pilar. Then, <laughs> <laughs> Pilar. And then, and then, true, since I am, you know, somewhat of a germaphobic, I do like to ask for an STD test. Right. <laughs> oh, you do? Okay. I do. You no make the guy guys. get a blood test and yes. make sure that he's clean as a whistle, and then the sex begins. That's fun. And then, you know, yeah. and well, then when it I'll happens, tell you what, you're hot enough for a 90-day <laughs> rule. Most girls are not. I was going to say, would well, you get a blood test for her? Sure, why ah. not? I don't know if I'd wait 90 days, though. You'd be surprised. Yeah. I mean... Blood test, sure. I give her my blood. <laughs> as long as you don't check for liver enzymes, you can have it. And what is this? You're a hypochondriac? You go to the doctor all the time? What was that? You thought you were dying of cancer at one point? No. Oh, yeah. Actually, I thought I had leukemia one time. Why would you because, think that? Well, I was working... <laughs> I was working out like five hours a day, two in the morning and three at night, yes. and I got extremely thin, and like right like in my groin area, my lymph nodes were like protruding abnormally, mm. and so I was like, I, I looked up on WebMD, I was like, what could this possibly be? So I looked up protruding lymph nodes, and like by process of elimination, leukemia was the only thing I could have had, because it was like HIV. Um, like an infection, and I was never like, diagnosed through the internet. Right. That is the key. All the time, rule. all the time. So I went to the doctor, and I really did think that I was dying. Right. And he was like, "And what makes you think that you've got leukemia?" I was like, "Well, by process of elimination, from you know, from the list that it could be, I was like protruding lymph nodes. I was like, I don't have." HIV. I was like, I don't have an ingrown hair. Like, it, it's so you're a nutty kind of hypochondriac. <laughs> and what was I'm protruding? A, Pilar. And he goes, no, he was like, he goes, Pilar. He goes, and how do you know that these are lymph nodes? And I was like, WebMD. Like, hello. No, the doctor said I need to finger you. I mean, examine you. <laughs> <laughs> girls, this doesn't sound like a very sexy show, if I can be honest. The two of you are nice girls. You're, you're certainly good looking. They must be bringing in sexy playmates. Yeah, I mean, I don't. <laughs> it I sounds don't, off. It sounds kind of like you're a little uptight about sex. You don't talk about your boyfriends. I'm not uptight. You are, though. No, you know, what are you talking about? I don't talk to you. You're like, no, I don't want to go No, there. no, no. It's, I don't want to talk about wanna... exes. I don't mind talking about What do you talk about? Do you talk about, do you talk about uh, fellating a guy? Do you talk about how to give great fellatio? We'll give advice. What do you yeah. say? Oh. Okay, here, I'm a caller. Uh, right. Jillian, yeah. help me out here. I'm, <laughs> a, I'm, a, I'm a young lady. <laughs> I want to learn how to turn my man on. How do, what's the best way to give a guy a blowjob? What, what do I do? 
We've never had that question. We've never had that. No one said that. The girl just asked if she needs your advice. So how to give a good blowjob. That's the question. That's the question on the table. I mean, what kind of questions are people asking you? Um, They'll ask... uh, Let's see. A lot of things. A lot of them aren't sexual. Hi, Jillian. It's Debbie in Pittsburgh. How do you <laughs> suck, Cobb? <laughs> I'm what here. I'm here in you? Hollywood. I see Bruce Willis all the time. What's the best <laughs> way to do him? Say I want to suck his cock. <laughs> my boyfriend wants to finish in my mouth, but it grosses me out. How do you answer yeah. that? Hypothetically. How would I answer yes, that? Yes. Yeah. I would say if she's not into it, don't, you know? I mean, it's all about communication. So if he really wants her to do it, try it. You know? Why yeah. should she, why should she try it? She doesn't like the feeling of that gooey white substance well, going down her throat. If she doesn't like it and she was absolutely against it, then we'd be the first to say don't do it. Well, I will say it's not fair if he goes down on her and she doesn't. No, Jillian, that's different. Like, <laughs> there's like this is our show right this here. Is like, this is the show you this argue. Is like a wad of like you know some people don't like that. You can't Pilar, make do you, uh, chiming in. Pilar, <laughs> Pilar, do you like when a man goes down on you, or do you, are you a germ phobic <laughs> to the point that you don't want his tongue on your on your uh, vagina? Well, no. I mean, I know that his mouth is clean. I mean, he gave me an STD test. I see. So you think you'll enjoy it, right? <laughs> and you'll go down on a guy. Like, or do you have to give him a bath first? Oh, 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 Will you swallow that? No, yes, I do. I you do. Have to no, bathe absolutely. Yes. Yeah, I do. Pilar, have to shower. Do you ever give your guy anal within an hour of shitting? Oh, oh God! <laughs> Good legitimate question. What if a woman oh. says, "I don't feel clean back there, but my boyfriend wants to do anal"? Well, how do you advise her? Well, that I don't have much advice on on that because I'm waiting till marriage. Something needs to be a virgin for me. All right, so, so your so ass is never been So that's what you're giving up on your wedding night. Some, <laughs> some hole has to be unentered. <laughs> so, uh, so Pilar, you, look like, you look like <laughs> you look like you've had a schnitzel ram your ass. What's, oh, come uh, on. What do you do? Uh, let's would, say, well, how do you answer? A lady would never tell. How do you answer a girl when she says, "I"? And she was, and and she wanted my. She Advice she it. wants your advice. She wants to do <laughs> anal with her boyfriend. She's very uptight back there. She feels she's stinky. Uh, she feels that no matter how much she wipes, there's still a slight odor, and she's yes. afraid. What would you tell her to do? If she really wanted to do it, yes. then I would say, you know, take him in the shower. That's what I was thinking. Shower out your asshole is what you're saying. Yeah. Is that yeah, your well, advice? Like, yeah. I mean, she could, you know, she can do the Nancys with him. Up the booty and the. Jillian, have you ever taken a big Midwestern shit and given your boyfriend <laughs> oh, an no. anal? Steve, you're on the air in Edison, New Jersey. Yikes. You're saying hello to uh, two lovely women, Jillian Grace and Pilar Lastra. They host the Playboy uh, Playmate Hour uh, weekday mornings from 10 to 11 on Playboy Radio, Sirius Channel 198. Like Oprah, I think they tape like one or two shows a week, and then they rerun them. Is that correct? Is that right? We do three, three shows, shows, and three then we replay two. Oh, it's All probably right. so much better like the fourth time. Yeah, the, the two best ones, already. they replay. Uh, to order Playboy Radio, no additional charge. Go to Sirius.com, and then they'll turn it on for you. Yes, Steve, go ahead. Yeah, Howard, you know, uh, I know they call it the Playboy Channel, but, um, I mean, really, every time I tune in, it it just sounds like every other lame radio show with some uh, chick giving advice. I mean, I know they're playmates, but you can't see them. They don't tell any hot stories. I mean, what good are you on the radio? Uh, well, that's my point. The girls are going to have to start putting out. Girls, what about the Sibian? Have you heard about what I'm doing here? I've yes. heard about it. <laughs> would, you, would, would one of you or both of you get on the thing and tell me if it's any good and let me know how you feel sexually? I mean, to me, my mom w- told me I can't. Yeah. <laughs> and you, and you too, right? Mama said no. You wouldn't do something <laughs> yeah. like that. You, in your panties, you won't sit down on the Sibian and tell me how it feels. I would do it in the privacy of my own home, but not for the show. Sure, your mother yeah. told you not to fuck every loser. That's in That's why, girl. Steve. Is that? Let me tell you something. First of all, Jillian, shame on you. You're my creation. Come on, Jillian. I mean, if you owe me big time. Leave no matter something. If I tell you I need to behead you, you should be a, a volunteer. Yeah, look at this life um, you're leading. That's right. And and to me, you guys really have to, you know, on your show, loosen up, touch each other, or touch yourselves, uh, masturbate. Well, on Playboy Radio, we, we have other shows, other shows like, like that. that. I see. Our you, show is mainly just about the Playmates, Playboy lifestyle, living at the mansion. But Playboy what you and plus, I mean, we have we have an image that we need to uphold, and oh, I mean, please. Hef, why Hef is would be absolutely what image do you have? Absolutely livid <laughs> if we were, you know, on there being extremely nasty with one another too. I mean, we why? are supposed to because right. we're given the, the the title the girls next door. Well, the girls next door aren't going to be mugging out with one another. I like still that. don't understand the <laughs> show. You say not, it's not, about not, the Playboy not, Mansion and Playboy. What do you say about the Playboy? Uh, Jillian never says anything. About 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 about. All right, tell me about a party. About Tom, parties. What do you tell me? Whatever, like whatever we were experiencing at the party, like you know. What was the last party you went to? I went to Mardi Gras. 
Mardi um, Gras party. So what happened there? Why, how can you fill a radio show with this crap? Well, that's not the only thing we <laughs> talked about. Who was there? I mean, we what have, happened? We have, you know... I, I mean, blew the Don Adams. <laughs> <laughs> you blew Don Adams? <laughs> you got his corpse before it went cold? <laughs> I fucked Don Adams' right. corpse. Right. <laughs> What, uh, what, how was that for you? Tell me what goes on. How do you fill out a radio show? Like, what went on at the Playboy Mansion? Mom, tell me are. a story. Well, it's not just us telling stories. Like, when we have a Playmate on, she'll talk yeah. about her favorite party or a uh, favorite experience at the mansion. And then we do all What is your like favorite mansion. experience at the mansion? My favorite experience is yes. one of the moments that stands out in my mind was actually going into the grotto during a party and seeing people having full-blown sex because right. I knew there was always the stories but I'd never seen it you know didn't really believe it so and who did you see there. famous people or just hot playmates and see that's the thing because the people having sex in the pool obviously aren't going to be the famous yeah. people they right. were just these random people at the party and they were in there having a uh, full-blown full sex full-blown orgy going on in wow. the and Dakota. that was your favorite moment because you like to watch most memorable <laughs> yes and uh, what I about you Pilar have you ever been up at, yeah what is yours was we were sitting at Huff's table and somebody came back. One of the other playmates was like, oh my God, all these people are doing nasties in the, well, they weren't saying nasties, but they were saying they're doing all the nasties in the, in the grotto. So the girls and I, we excused ourselves. We said we were going to go to the restroom. We ran to the grotto. We totally got gypped. Nothing was going on in there. Well, why is that Nothing. your favorite moment then? That's your favorite well, that, moment? That's the one that stands out the most because I was so excited. To, this would be like the first time Wait for me to see exactly that's what not, everybody says that's it was not going hot. on. Have you been invited into Huff's bedroom? Um, I wouldn't go into Huff's bedroom. What? No. You have not been invited, or no, you, you've been invited and you declined? Um, okay, the very first <laughs> time I went out with that. The very first time I was asked if I were to go hang out in the bedroom, I said, nah, I gotta go to bed. And Jillian, <laughs> you never went up, up there, early. right? You, I did go up you there. You went up there. What did you see? Now that we're here on satellite, <laughs> we can talk about that. What did you see? You have seen an 80 something year old man. He lays down in the bed nude, I assume, or are these? Well, the whole thing was, I didn't realize that I was going upstairs upstairs because I was with one of the girlfriends she's like oh let's go upstairs we can you know keep partying or whatever so what I went were up you there. wearing when you went up there I was wearing whatever we went out to the club and I was sitting on her bed playing with her dogs or whatever and all of a sudden she walked out of her bedroom completely naked Right. And uh, kind of shocked me. Yeah. Uh, You're not into girls at all? <laughs> no, no. no. Oh, she never walked done out that, naked, no. and what did she say to you? She's like, oh, well, we'll, we'll just go into half stream. She's like, you don't have to do anything. You can just hang out. It'll be fine. She's right. like, it will be a good time. And I'm like, all right. All right. So you walk in with her. She's nude. You're dressed. Yeah. And what do you see? What do your eyes focus on the second you walk in the room? Well, before you can even walk in the room, I think you've heard about this before. Um, all the girls that are going to do something with Hef have to get in the bathtub and right. clean up. Right. So. God forbid Hef <laughs> catches a right. whiff. Yeah. That's my kind problem. of man. Yeah. 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 It's yeah. a it's great a way to turn me on. So the girls clean up their uh, vagina area <laughs> right. and in the uh, sits bath. Go ahead, yes. <laughs> the dunking pool. The dunking oh. pool. You're going to get me kicked out of the bunny house. No, you're not. <laughs> You've told this story before. You got your pussy fuck ready. Oh. Oh. Do you, do, does a girl ever wash another girl in the uh, area? Uh, no, they, they, it's, a, it's a small bath. All so. Right, so what, do you take a nice washcloth and wash that thing off? <laughs> like a bird bath? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like a sits bath. It's so, sprinkling water up. Yeah, so go ahead. You're in there, and uh, you spritz yourself down. And I you, didn't. Right, I Because I wasn't going to do anything. But wash out your girls. ass, wash out everything. All right, well, you, you go, go into the bathroom with all the girls and watch them take baths? Right, because, you know, everyone had been drinking. We'd been out clubbing and everything, and so now we go into the bedroom. Does everyone have... bathe in the same bath water? Yeah. Oh, that's gross. Right. Yeah. See, that would really gross me. Too. Yeah, I know. <laughs> that's right. That's not good. I'd be like, I have to go first. <laughs> but they keep the tub running and it draining at the same oh, time. Okay, so. that sounds oh, nice. Oh, good. Anyway. Good. <laughs> so then uh, all the girls go into the bedroom. Right. And Hef still isn't in there yet. Right. He hasn't made his entrance. Right. Oh, he makes an entrance. Mm -hmm. Oh, of course. And um, He's still putting in his teeth. <laughs> <laughs> Pumping his cock up. <laughs> right. <laughs> He's on his 18th Viagra. <laughs> So all the girls are nude in there. Are they messing around with each other during the bath stage? Yeah, they, they fool around. They kiss, kiss, rub each other's boobs, uh -huh. play with the vagina a little bit. How many girls are we talking about? I think there's probably about eight of us. <laughs> do they do they uh, do they all wash each other's vaginas? No. Like, like with a little loofah? No, they do that loofah. separate. You yeah. gotta get clean that before you can do the dirty. Painful, so. huh? Yeah. <laughs> but no, but I mean, you know what I mean? Like you, you like rub like soap each other's boobs up and everything. No, and they don't. They don't play in the bathtub. That's right. just get clean and then go play in the all bedroom. Right. So the cleaning. Is really medicinal. All right. So you right. go into the, the bedroom. Is everyone naked at that point? All the girls? Uh huh. Yeah. There's no even clothes. But you, or leave, you leave your underwear on if you're not going to do anything. I see. 
that's the secret. You're naked except for your underwear. That's right. the signal. Ooh, right, you that's are? The signal. Right. You got into your underwear I, I'm only? I topless, yeah. Oh, that's hot. <laughs> Anybody touch your boobs? <laughs> yeah. They did. James Worthy? Who Do you did like that? Is it different when a woman touches your boobs? It's totally different. And I did end up kissing one of the girls. and That's just weird. I don't like because your boobs touch. Right. That's awkward. Which one of the 83 Lakers fucked you? <laughs> AC Green. Wait a second. I'm trying to understand Take it something. Easy. We are in the bedroom with him. Yeah, I'm, I'm enjoying this. And now we're girls. getting somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> so you're in your underpants. You're wearing a little thong, maybe. You got a great ass. And uh, all the other girls are naked but you. I think there was a couple other <laughs> girls that weren't... In underwear. Right. All right. So the girls who were real players, the ones who were going to do half and take it for the team, <laughs> uh, they, they lay down on the bed? Right, yeah. And where do you guys stand? Well, I didn't stand. I was on the bed, too. It's an extremely large bed. Um, I was what, in the just, corner. <laughs> and so you don't feel out of it. Do you start kissing the other girls and, like, letting them touch your boobs? Yeah. It's sort of peer pressure, right? Right. Yeah. Because you don't want to be a killjoy. Right. So they start. Does anyone touch your hey, nanner, nanner? No. No one. No. They, don't like they, they have, a, well, they're actual back massagers, but they use them for different purposes, of course. Mm. Oh, they play with themselves with back massagers? Right. Did they touch you with the back massager through your underwear? No. Be they honest. Didn't, they didn't touch me, no. Nobody, like, rubbed you over your underwear? <laughs> no. Just to get you to see, see what's going on? I think there? they all knew that I, didn't, I wasn't up there for that. I so. see. So when Hef walks in the room, does seeing Hef turn you on, or does it make you nauseous? Well, he walked in with, um... He, oh, he wears he his pajamas, yeah. mm-hmm. but right. he t- he didn't wear his pants. He only had on the night shirt. Uh, right. So you could see his... His knobby little bony oh, knees. You could see his 80-something-year-old <laughs> penis. <laughs> see, I didn't even see the penis. That was the whole thing. He what, had his are his, are his depends blocking it? <laughs> <laughs> no, his shirt was blocking it. All right, so Hef walks in the room. He's got no pants on, but he's got his pajama tops on. Right. Right. Almost like a young Anne Margaret in uh, right. what was that movie? I'm going to get in trouble. Carl, no, you're not. Every girl has talked about this. You're not going to be in any trouble. Trust me. This is uh, this is no holes barred right now. Now, is he using his walker or is he? <laughs> no, he is a very frisky. Man. So he gets yeah. there, and what does he do? He climbs in the bed, and uh-huh. you see his, uh, but, but but he has a shirt covering his bedink the dankter. Right. And he lays down in the bed, and then the girls b- b- perform fellatio on him immediately? Or? Well, he, he lays in the middle, and, you know, the girls are all surrounding him. And um, Were there, Was there gay porn on the, um, on the, on the uh, TV? There was porn. It was in that gate. Uh, he has split screens, so he had two different porns, porns going? going on. Yeah. Yeah. Really? Does now, it, that's what I tried to focus on. <laughs> does he, he take off his shirt eventually? Well, the girls took it off. For him. Oh. They did, and they and then he lays on his back, doesn't he? Yeah. And then they perform fellatio, and then they sit on him, right? Uh, each girl did their own thing. Like it seemed like to me, each girl had their specific job. Right. So that was pretty interesting. But no rubbers used, huh? That's the funny thing for that I find. No condoms. I was trying not to focus, but no, I don't think there was. Mm. Now, do you see half uh, release? <laughs> like finish? I know that there was a towel you Jizz. <laughs> so all the other girls who aren't participating watch the sex, right? They get to see half having his sex. Right, they're either watching it or they're like playing with the other girls. Right. Throwing yeah. up. And what did you do? Did you just watch the TV? Did you do you touch yourself just to like get into the well, mood or see I went up there because the whole thing was one of the girlfriends was like, oh, you want to go upstairs and smoke? And I'm like, well, yeah. Right. So we went. I went up there to smoke. We right. Smoke what? what? Smoke weed. weed. You take it how you want. Yeah. <laughs> Have a smoke. Uh, so I <laughs> wouldn't go anywhere for a cigarette. <laughs> so they're hoping if they get you high, maybe you'll join in. At what, uh, point, <laughs> at what point do you give Bill Maher a blumpkin? Ooh. Yeah. Uh, Hef was the only man there. And so Hef, That's all they needed. So Hef, uh, each girl gets to ride Hef, so he can hold out a pretty long time, huh? I guess so. Yeah. There was at least three different girls having at it. Well, how, he how, uses the Viagra, so does he release and they still go on, or is he, once he's done, he's done? I don't know. It seemed like he went more than once. See, that's wow. what I was thinking. Yeah, he just keeps going. So he's rock hard, huh? Old <laughs> half. <laughs> yes. He's got a big, did he got a big wiener? See, I didn't even see it. That you was could, the It was whole hard thing. to see. Was right. it dark? I it didn't was... even see it. <laughs> <laughs> that's never a good sign. <laughs> All right. Yeah, when a girl so doesn't see it. Yeah. Yeah. Did Ready he go. try was to bit? touch you at all? Did no. Jeff reach out nope. at all? I, I think the panties out. were a signal that I'm not up for grabs. So. Right. So so at least everyone's respectful that way. Right. Uh, and would you say he lays on his back? So he only does it in that one position where the girls get on and ride him up and down, right? Dude, I would too. If you don't have to do anything, let girls do it to well, you. Well, it's fun to move around a little bit. You know what I mean? Did you learn anything while you were watching these Nothing new. take over? <laughs> no. Same old, same old, huh? Do the girls seem to be into it or is it just a chore? Um, 
I think that one of the girls, of course, Holly is the main girl. She seems very into it. She ab absolutely, absolutely loves Hef. Right. Um, a lot of the girls seem to be more and so into the other girls. I don't know if because right. they were new girls, new in the bedroom. I so see. is it possible that one of the girls is riding half while the, while they make out with a girl and yeah. touch their boobs? So there's a, like an orgy thing going oh, on. Oh, yeah, full blown. Are some of them <laughs> licking each other while this is going on? No, none of that. None of that, huh? Any of them sit on his face? Mm -hmm. No. No? And there was a 69. 69ing going uh -huh. on. Wow. And if you don't want to fuck, do you have to make a sandwich or something? Like, what do you, what do, you do? A vacuum? Well, let me tell yeah, you, you something. you to clean the room? Yeah, like, let me tell doing? you something, girls. It sounds like fun to me. Does uh, Hef, like, is, is he giving out gifts or anything during this whole process? or is he just Giving out gifts? Yeah, yeah, like, does he have rings between his teeth? Yeah, it's called a life. He's <laughs> giving them a life. He's giving them a load. Yeah. Let's go to Ralphie Boy. Ralph, you're on the air. Hey, now. Hey, hey, now. hey Rupa, how long did that session go for? Um, well, I was pretty gone by then. <laughs> you were but I say it was about an, uh, an hour or so. They, you know, I was gonna, I was gonna bust them, Howard, but you finally got something interesting out of them. No, the good. <laughs> listen, Jillian came through with a good story. I'll tell yeah. you that. Yeah, but and you now, really had to work to get it. Hey, I mean, sometimes a man has to work. So I don't mind. I don't mind talking about stuff at all. You have to ask. I'm not gonna volunteer information. Yeah, well, Why that's not? not so great for a, a, a talk show host. <laughs> well, <laughs> if I the talk show, of course, like this show, isn't really necessarily about us. It's about the people we interview. Right. I, and I don't know. Girls. This just sounds like a horrible <laughs> idea. That's what I want to do. Is sit, <laughs> and listen, sit and listen to Playboy chicks. It's got to be a bad show. Oh. Okay. Horrible. No, it's, it's doing very no, well. It's doing well. The two of you Sorry, are beautiful. People. We get we get great emails. I find Jillian very beautiful. Pilar, I just met you. I find you both very beautiful girls. Thank you. It's really and nice the way they talk over each other too. Yeah, I mean, but the radio thing's got to be worked out, and you're going to have to make it interesting every day. You're going to have to come through with the stories. You girls have lived uh, some life now, and it's time to talk about sex and get crazy. Back to the bedroom for a minute. How does this whole thing end? At the end, when perhaps tired of everybody, does everybody? Everybody get thrown out of the bedroom, or how does the how do they tell you to leave now? Yeah. Well, I know that the main girlfriend she stays, and everyone else kind of goes off. So it's generally uh, the the as in life, the guy finishes, and then the party just seems to stop. Yeah. Yeah. I see. When yeah. he's done with you, he's done. Right. Uh, yeah. How do you know it's not the girls that got tired and went to their own bedroom? Well, because the guy. <laughs> how do you know they were done. <laughs> It doesn't matter. They Half do doesn't it. care. Go, go, go well, anywhere. You know done. what, Pilar? You have to go and tell us. <laughs> Ronnie, what do you want to say? Ronnie, the limo driver who listens to the Playboy channel. I listen to you guys. Uh, can I give you a little advice without sure. you getting mad? Uh, I think you should sit and listen to Tiffany Granite's show in the afternoon. That's I a love totally Tiffany different show. show. Yeah, but she gives... When, it's a when, good a guy, show. when a guy calls in for advice about anal, about anything, she'll answer him. You right. guys giggle a lot. I love how Ronnie already knows the lineup of the Playboy <laughs> team. He He's in there listening all the time. He's in the car. He she, loves she, women. Run, she runs a really hot show. You guys should really take a Do little bit of Do you beat off to her. that show at all, like in the car? No. Be honest. No. No? No. No. But it, it, she really gets down and dirty with the you know the callers, and that's what they're not doing. But well, that's, that's not what we're trying to do. Well, maybe you ought to do it. But you should. <laughs> yeah. Maybe what he's saying it's is, Playboy. see, you you do most of the talking, pull off, right. uh -huh. and she giggles too much. <laughs> I have a problem with that. She's <laughs> giggling a, now. I'm a happy a, person. <laughs> here's a suggestion of a good like, hi, it's Tara in New Jersey. Could you put something in Pilar's fucking mouth, <laughs> <laughs> like your pussy? Oh dear. Oh jeez. Girls, there's nothing. <laughs> wrong if someone calls up and says, I don't, and know how to, I don't know how to give my boyfriend oral. So you take out a banana or something and you start to demonstrate or you say, look, now you lick it this way or that. You gotta, you there gotta is nothing wrong with that, but that's not our show. That's, that's not your yeah, thing. Yeah, and that's, right. not well, even the, that's not even the question. Apparently, right. they have guidelines, Howard, yes. that they've been told to <laughs> we follow. Do. Well, you know what? Uh, then it's back to the shaving store for you. <laughs> <laughs> Girls, I want to thank you. I do wish you luck with the uh, Playboy uh, channel. Uh, you, I've known Jillian now for a while. She's sort of my protege. <laughs> I've launched. Oh, all do you, you Howard? Sure do. You, you know what? I, I never would have imagined you'd come on my show, end up in Playboy, and then be at the shaving store. I, <laughs> Wait I just a can't believe though, it. I have to ask a question. She's doing this uh, radio show, and she does get some Playboy uh, appearances. She still needs to supplement her income with the shaving store? Well, the shave is actually, I think it's a great place. Um, I go there more for fun. I think it's an amazing thing. They just opened their first store. They're wanting to franchise. It's an amazing place. Who's the hottest guy in Hollywood right now? You could have sex with any <laughs> leading man. Who's the guy? I'm you done go with for? Hollywood guys. Okay, just to fantasize for a second. Who, you, who, who do you like? Does he have to be in Hollywood or? Can yeah, well, it's well, only we like need to know. Who, well, you know I would who say, it is. yeah, I would say Luis Miguel. 
Who's that? Luis Miguel? Yeah. Well, that's a, you see, again, no he, one knows who that is. And I, if, if you're <laughs> a radio <laughs> host. Like, see, that's the thing. Is it like, if you're a radio like host, men. listen to me. If you're a radio host, <laughs> you got to come up with a name like a name we know. Yeah, like, we didn't mean a guy who lives in Hollywood. We meant a guy right. we know. Any of you ever do Bill Maher? No. No. You've <laughs> met him, though. That's you? Frank. No. <laughs> what did, uh, how many times has Bill Maher hit on you, Jillian? Never. I've only yeah. seen him at the mansion. I've never talked to him. Pilar, how many yeah, times? Yeah, never. That's, he's slipping. <laughs> All right. Check out Jillian Grace and Pilar Lastra, the host of the Playmate Hour weekday mornings from 10 to 11 on Playboy Radio, Sirius Channel 198, 198. And to order Playboy Radio at no additional charge, go to Sirius.com. And you guys do the show out of L.A., I guess. Yeah. Right. Okay. Now, do you still see Scott Bayo there? <laughs> he still yeah. comes up. Wow. He's still <laughs> hanging ahead. around, huh? <laughs> Would either of you kiss half? Never? Maybe an occasion would you ever consent to kissing half i kiss him on the cheek and that's it that's it no lips pilar um every time i say hello i kiss hello i kiss him on the lip you do you no tongue no no tongue all right if i was ever in a monogamous relationship i would i mean i find him sexy no you don't yes i do really honestly you would be half's girlfriend if i was the only girlfriend i see so you don't you're not share. putting up with this whole uh, no, party I'm, theme huh no no way no, you right. got a shot <laughs> someone told me uh do you find the pope sexy no, no? Pope, pope benedictus oh you like the pope you no. like him old huh? <laughs> my dream guy is martin landau <laughs> <laughs> all right listen i got to take a break when we come back i have something exciting we're adding a new personality to the lineup i'm uh, welcoming our new person to howard 101 that's a big move for us very exciting to have a new member of the team. Oh, the person who will be working, I think, 8 to midnight? Uh, yes, 8 to midnight. Oh. That's correct. Mm. On Howard 101, we are filling out the channels very nicely, and we will meet that person next. And also, Robin, uh, we will do the news. So no right. Sibian, huh? No Sibian girls? Shit. No, we're going to have to pass. Panties, get on the Sibian, let it rub you a little bit, see come what on, happens. Give on. me a blow by blow. I do orgasms while I'm on. I don't need a machine. You need orgasms what? I do orgasms while I'm on. Well, yeah, but uh, who cares? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, on your own. So do I. <laughs> talk to me for a second. Okay. <laughs> Some rough criticism in there. Yeah. It happened. They don't even know. They haven't listened yet. Yeah. <laughs> so you don't think there's any truth to their advice? I think there's some truth, you know, I, but I think that what they're trying to say is not really the fans that are going to be listening to our show. So. <laughs> and we're okay. It's constructive criticism. We're not right. taking it to heart. But it's a totally different show than what you do here late at night or on Tiffany's show. Right. <laughs> Jillian, you got into some um, <laughs> Detailed half bedroom scene. I'm gonna get in trouble. I know it. <laughs> you think so? <laughs> That's gonna be like now, Jillian. <laughs> I have an extra room at my place if you need one. <laughs>